to produce proposals worthy of our very great nation. American servicemen in Australia celebrated Independence Day with an Army v Navy football match in Sydney. It was done in style with regulation mascots and all. A charity match watched by 35,000 people who thoroughly caught the spirit of this encounter, always a real blitz of a battle. Cheerleaders are just part of the usual trimmings. The real fun's had by the spectators. You'll notice this as the game progresses and the teams do their best to wipe each other out. As it turns out, the army is well on top. But what does that matter so long as everybody's happy? Eventually, even the referee joins in the game, probably on the Navy's side. They need help. A great game, American football. It takes your mind off the war and helps you to concentrate on the battle. In case you're interested in the score, the Army won 14 north, a fact which didn't entirely escape the notice of their supporters. Sydney also had the pleasure, long denied to us here, of seeing some pre-war form in a service tennis match. Crawford and Pales met Bromwich and Gilchrist, all ex-champions for Gilchrist and Pales are both held junior championship titles. Pales and the veteran Crawford on the far side win a brilliant rally. <laughs> Bromwich and Gilchrist, however, now on the far side, proved too hot and eventually won the match 6-2, 6-5. This exciting rally, reminiscent of the good old days of Wimbledon and all that, went to them, as you'll see. The King and Queen...